Bum a cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I was... I was only gone an hour. Never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it, just... How the chips landed. Glad I did, though. Me too. I can't even imagine. Still, it's not enough. There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. All right, glad that's over with. Sadly, only part one of the Judy tale. Hey, Judy, so what did you come up with? The mock die, Blizzy's bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you know someone at clouds will take our side will you help okay so what's the plan first up we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda girl who unofficially runs clouds what's she do officially she's a doll so she's a nobody sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces if I was sure I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation early morning clouds will be closed Hardly a soul lurking at that time. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. There's Judy. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Maiko is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deeds about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. No. Compromises take time I just don't have. Just what exactly are you after? Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! You've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Called me a murderer. You're right. I killed Woodman. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And if I had known what he did to Evelyn when she needed help, I wouldn't have gone so easy on him. Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Doesn't make you wonder why you even work here? 
Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. Had enough. I'm leaving. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Probably needs some time to think. A couple days, tops. Yeah, you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Why am I walking with Judy forever? How long is this gonna take? Can I just meet her at the bottom? Punch the ground floor. I need to get out of this place. I really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Second you react with your dick steady your head, you give them exactly what they want. Does it look like I give a shit? Doesn't matter. Well, but it's good. Hey, if it works. Blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy it because they're gunk. They're just poor. Poopa is good. That is my public service announcement of the day. Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Maiko only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Maiko's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. When now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks. Plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? A and A, artichokes and avocado flavor, and zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So. I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. Hi, Tom. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hello. Hey, 
Nice to meet you. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So changed your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. All right, chill. Not here to squabble with you. Wouldn't put it past you. Judy convinced you. Call me satisfied. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the Market Square in Kabuki. Nah, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I wanna see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I wanna see how Tommy handles her. Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Nice work, Judy. I did yourself. If you were to sell that, be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. Happy now? I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Cloud's real boss. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Plan just might work. Michael, take it you're on board too? Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. Overpower Hiromi. Humiliate him. Should be enough. Bosses will put him out of the game. Count me in, Judy. Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. No, don't want to hear it. But you... Uh, 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 not a word. Uh, v, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. How does... Wh why is Judy pretending like she doesn't know this information? We we told her all this stuff. V, get she, it together. 
She made a funny little whistling noise like we're crazy or something. I guess she didn't believe us. Sounds great. Thanks. Oh, I see. Thanks, Judy. Oh, okay. Ham and cheese sandwich. That's so cute. Judy might have forgotten that we told her about the relic, but she was quite thoughtful in uh, leaving a breakfast. That's really cool. idea how I can get to Hiromi. Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Michael, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. All right, we going in? I am strangely zoomed you in, You two right? head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. I guess let me try reloading my game. Maybe this will fix it. Yeah, I fixed it. you by the panel. Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security. You deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Okay. On my way. Elevators on the other side. Requiem for a samurai, which was published in 70 languages simultaneously, sold over 3 million copies. In the shade of an apple tree is a drama set in How's the sitch? You inside it clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. This view makes the quest line almost worth it. Okay, maybe it does make it worth it. Oh, no! My view! Oh, okay, it's back. Alright, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? On my mark! Go! The water's kind of glitching out, but other than that... Wow. I'll be late. I told you, we have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Rude. It's a pretty ugly looking building. And this, here's a nice one. <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> How do I get back up, though? the news building. View from here is kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Oh, ladder. Yeah, if there was a reason to do this mission, it's because of this part when you're on top of the mega building. This is really cool. Even if the water's a little bit jank. It's cool to see Night City from above. 
It's always cool. This area looks the most interesting for sure though. You can actually see some distance here. Downtown's kind of cool too, but this way towards Japantown is um, not, not, the, not very good, not the best. And here we can see inside of the mega building, right? be able to jump across, right? Yeah, you can see all the way down there. That's pretty cool. Great. Alright. Shall we proceed with the mission? Okay. will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. My go. I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Michael, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I know how this needs to play out, better than anyone. You gotta trust me. I thought this through, many times. Meaning you want to replace her only? Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect clouds from other gangs? Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Do your thing. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? With your permission. Over my dead body. We were gonna Stop get rid of him. Am I to understand these as your conditions? V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Maiko will take care of day-to-day -day operations at Clouds. She's best for the job. The dolls trust her. Follow her into fire, as you can see. You know what always annoyed me about Hiromi? He had no vision. Call off this massacre. He is a man who will not scratch the end of his nose. 
unless you tell him with which hand to do it. We have one last formality to fulfill. At midday tomorrow, I will present to you terms to which you will agree. Your engagement ends here. If ever you should require stable employ, we are not difficult to find. I'll think about it. Thank you. Thanks, V. First transfer from Cloud's new manager coming your way. Don't need your eddies. But you can have them. And have Judy wrapped around your neck. Keep them. Buy yourself something nice. The hell did you do, V? No time to talk now. Just get out of there. You're clear for the elevator. I'll be waiting by Jig Jig Street. Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough in the fight against the... Fuck, V. You just stood there and watched her play us? At least you had the decency not to take her eddies. Decided to give her a chance. Figured you had a reason to take this to her. Seeing as you trusted her, why should I have doubted her? Don't pin this on me. I'm not. She knows the harsh realities of clouds better than I do. Better than you do, even. Fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Got carried away. I... Just, this ain't how I imagined things panning out. But, guess I should get used to it. No matter what you do, life's always gonna throw you a curveball. Your frustration, I get it. Don't take this personally, but I gotta cool down. I'm gonna go. Thanks for the help, V. Thank you again. Don't mention it. See you around, Judy. Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. V, looking good? You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in, and you look fucking amazing. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, Palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, let's do this. Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. behind me and don't descend too fast there's a highway down here it'll be pitch black but the currents are gentle ought to be safe virtues are more to you than just a way to turn out eddies huh well duh think it. paintings songs they're meant to produce emotion responses 
generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. All right, we're all tuned and synced. And you got talent, girl. All right, that ought to do it. We are now... Synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. Impressive, huh? Had no idea. She'd said we'd see a sunken town. Like it? Dunno. Sure as hell never seen anything like it, can tell you that. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. What happened here? Why'd it get flooded? Cause someone stood to profit. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why is this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. Flo's Diner, best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Got something here. Looks like an old photo camp. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks! Hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, Alvarez. We're losing because of you. Coming! Coming. You're dead meat anyway. anyway. Sorry, you gotta go. They're calling. They're calling. They're calling. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. See, childhood for you tasted like toasted marshmallows. They always caught fire, burned, <laughs> but that never bothered you. Ah, that's nomad life for you. Can't be a fussy eater or you'll get no food at all. Anyway, all kinds of food tastes better with just a little burn. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Well, it feels like we're outside of time. Like, in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. It's hard to imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. 
It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? W why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. Church hasn't aged at all. Always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this. Look for another way inside. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention. Found an opening. Think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts, know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo I got back scared the living bejesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out flew right back in my face. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end bad. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You? Heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. He must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Mm-hmm. Ah. Forgot to start the generator. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. All those people from the town. It's depressing. Most nomads have a story like that. And all of them begin with the same thing. Displacement. Shit. 
What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. Judy, what's going on? Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Michael's holding all of clouds at gunpoint. Decides every little thing, apparently. But... No but. Talk to the dolls. They don't see any change. Everything's just like it was before. Got a feeling everything we did was wasted effort. I didn't want to tell you... ...wanted this to be just our day. I want it. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I don't get it. What good would that have done? You just think I was blaming you. Blame myself already. That's enough. That was really close. You are just out to help the dolls. Bet you'd be blaming yourself even more if you hadn't tried. Not like you could stand by and do nothing anyway. Not your style. Maybe you're right. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. Uh, this chick gets on my nerves. That's you and me blow. Just don't wake her up. You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Let's go. Oh, pick up clothes. Is it like equipped on me now? It is. It's beautiful again. Oh, there's Judy. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. Sure, Judy. I'll join you. And thank you. You know, yesterday, I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. No way I came to Night City. Because I thought it offered opportunities you couldn't come by anywhere else. Now it feels like I'm standing in quicksand. That's no way to live. For anyone. I feel you. I... I can't leave Night City. Not yet. Someday. Who knows? Give me your hand, B. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Uh, asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, V. It's really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. See ya, Judy. Alright, so that concludes things with Judy.